Alright, it's June 12th. A little after 12 o'clock. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, camera to sewer through the toilet in the hallway bathroom, the basement unit. And the address is 1632 S Street Northwest. To, to the drain from the uh, toilet sweep at one foot back up a little bit at one foot you see to the top right hand side there is a connection I am now getting ready to run the uh, sink in the bathroom and you'll see water coming out of that uh, or into that T there's the water right there that's the water that catches both the shower drain and also the basin drain in the same bathroom where the toilet is being camered through. If we go a little bit farther, you'll see right to the left hand side there's a hole in a piece of pipe, good size hole in a piece of pipe. Uh, that's definitely a major problem right here. It's about a foot and a half, almost two feet. Go a little bit farther. Right, yeah, between a foot and a half and two feet into the pipe. All right, we're going to continue to go further and see if we see any, any other problems. Four feet, you see the waste pipe for the uh, basement unit bathroom ties into another drain. Um, we suspect that it may be the outside drain. We're going to run some water in there and see if we can see water flowing. Okay, we ran water in the outside areaway drain, and this is not the connection. Um, I'm assuming that it is the connection catching the stack for the three units that, are, that is above here. So it should be carrying the bathrooms for three, or the waste for three bathrooms above. Alright, we're going to continue farther into the pipe. Right here, it's a six-foot connection. You can see it as PVC pipe. We're going to push the camera in slowly. You're going to see it uh, turn into cast iron. Pull it back a little bit. See the roughness of the pipe? That is now cast iron pipe. They must have made some type of fern co or some type of uh, fitting. Push a little farther, and once we get into the cast iron pipe, you see all the bluestone. I'm assuming that the bluestone was surrounding the PVC pipe in the ground when it was installed and the hole allowed the rocks to get into the sewer pipe. Uh, that is at a six foot distance from the toilet sweep. We are going to attempt to get through the rocks with the camera and we'll see how, we'll, we'll see what happens.
same, same, same. Thing. We are at nine feet. Now it's it's three feet farther from before, and it's still continuing. To, uh, the whole bottom of the pipe is lined with rock. That is definitely going to cause major backups. We're going to continue. feet you see how there's some standing water and the white stuff is toilet paper so what's happening people are flushing it's getting caught up on the rocks on the gravel down in the pipe therefore creating a dam effect water's therefore backing up um, it's going to continue to happen until the rocks are removed from the pipe are now out 34 feet from the uh, basement toilet and you see now it's it appears that there are no more rocks in the line um, we are going to push farther and try to make it all the way out to the main to make sure that there's no more rocks further down Like at 43 feet, we have something else in a line pushing a little bit further. Um, see if we can identify it. Looks like another rock. Um, 43 feet probably got washed down to this spot. You can see here at 74 feet is where we tap into the main city sewer, which is located in the alley behind the residence. Um, that looks like it. We're going to pull it back out. 